everybody, this is Joe Zaboon. Welcome to the Phantom Sun channel, and we're here with more Alex Wolf. I mean, Lost Alex, Wonderland, Destin Lovers, and Wonderland. So, yeah, in the last episode, well, we learned that magic exists in Wonderland. That's the only thing we learned. I, I guess it, I just didn't pay attention to the rest of stuff. Behind this human mask for too long. Being inhuman for must allow an emotion to take over. The only way to fight it is to return to my alien body and live the way I was born to live. In my familiar frozen <laughs> environment. Why there was no nowhere near it. And they flowers that Joker while blooming and my blooming entering from the play on my hand. How can this be? I did as I was told, but it was all a mystery to me. I arrived Joker as suddenly as Blaine. Like I said, it's magic. A Wonder Wonderland can do it. R really? That's a trick, wasn't so hard, was it? Joker and Blink. Joker. Oh my god, Joker. Joker and Blink, Debbie. Anyone can do it. Is that true about magic? Ever though he said it was normal in Wonderland, I couldn't guess the conquest. I couldn't ever remember that if this place was called Wonderland. I thought magic was something that not everyone, not everybody could use. It's lucky to know that anyone can use it. That's a good thing to remember, thanks Joker. Sure, I'm glad you like it. Joker gave a smile and nod, and smiled above hearing my arriving. Alex House. Okay. Okay, let me see this house. Hold on, let me go ahead and see this house. Okay, it looked like a normal house. My memories hadn't come back to me today, and now it wasn't my, fa my fault. This didn't we reach a house that was located somewhere from town. Joker, is this? It's Alex's house. You can... You can... Consider this as a place where Alex mean you to live while you're here. Alex's house? Yeah, we got through part four. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We're going to be done with chapter nine in this episode. We're going to be done with chapter nine. Jeez. I didn't expect us to be done with chapter nine. Great. Shoot. Just do that. I discovered the quiet little house. It failed to center my memories. Tonight or rather, until you record your memories, you can stay here. When Joker told me that, I love it. The right choices, I love it. But what are the other options? Why does this house ever exist? Where's my house? Where's my house? Where's the heiress house instead of the Alex house? Anyway, I love it. But I record the cute house in Mod 1. It's quite lovely. I really love it. <laughs> For some reason, my words have just break out in the laughter. <laughs> I thought the same thing the first time we met. Eris, but you are really, really, and what? I leave that to your imagination. Ah, man, tell us. Joker to continue to chatter in the statement. <laughs> well, depending on my intrusion, I continued. I it bears to stay positive and giving consequences, isn't it? 
All things aside, it would be a waste to retire since Broody. Yeah, you're right. You make a good point, Alice. Joker laughed and agreed with me. The look in his eyes told me that he truly did share my feeling. I smiled quietly while returning his nod. And then, oh no, I said no more and looked up at the shy at the sky. Oops. The stars shine in the night sky. That was beautiful. Really, it is beautiful. Hold on. All right. What do you become of me? Will I be able to remember Ethan? I was full of instincts. I just have to do my best. Stopping and doing nothing was not going to help me with my future. And then, I had to cope in my own future. We few. Trill D. <laughs> I'm Trill D. And I'm, tr I'm Trill Dumb. I never imagined Alex would hang out with Joker. Hey, Dumb, is it this huge news? It coming as a surprise to you. I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> Can we take a quick peek at the next page? Oh, good idea. Let's take a pick. Okay, here goes. Ooh. Oh, wow. Eris? I never said you could bow my shoulder. What am I going to do with you? That was a uh, CG. Okay, uh, I, I guess that count because that it didn't exactly show the whole entire CG. Hold on. Whoa! We've had things between those two progress that far already. And is it that Alex house? Do you think they spend the night together? Can we wait to see what happens next? Let's hurry up and turn the page. That looked like a CG, but I guess it didn't show the whole entire CG. <clears throat> How are you, Fendi? That was a wonderful choice you just made. Of course it was. No tip. Thanks, Wofford. <laughs> Okay, let's go on to chapter 3 then. Chapter 3 only got two choices, okay. Um, two choices, okay. Chapter 3. That night. Oh, okay. I changed into pajamas that was arrived and in, into for Alex and recalled on the bed. But, it, no use. I'm never going to get to sleep. My eyes were way awake. I wasn't the late bit sleeper. Now that I think of it, it's no wonder I can't relax. After all, this house is meant for Alex. It's not mine. Oh my god. It's the memories gonna show us in, in the end of this route. We're gonna be like, oh my god, we actually was Alex. And Eris is not my real name or something. I don't know. I let out a small sigh and sat up in the bed and give up on trying to sleep. <sighs> I left the house to get some fresh air and sat down on a bench in the garden. I stand emphatically up at the sky and took in the countless sprite of light. Oh, hey, what? Of light twilighting in the darkness. My gaze slowly dropped to see the flowers bathing in the blue moonlight. I wonder what's going on going to happen now. I had no idea what to expect, and the more I thought about it, the more unditionally I'd become. It's almost made me hope that my memories might return tomorrow. Eris? Suddenly a familiar voice echoed in the night. I thought you're gone home. I was looking in the distance at the voice. Joker was walking towards me, carrying a paper bag. I was afraid the house wouldn't have an improvement. I went back into town to buy some food. 
You haven't eaten anything at last, not since you met me, have you? Ah, good point. It had crossed my mind until he minded. Yep, thanks, man. <laughs> I smiled gently. I forgot all about eating. I did never feel hungry. I tell the need to mind, but if you keep this up, your body will last before your heart to sell. How about some fruit? That's out to be easy. As he spoke, Joker sat down beside me. He put something. Wait, what? He, wait, well, he pulled it something. Blaine yellow out of the ba paper bag and took a knife to cut it. What was it? What was it? it okay, never mind. We're moving on with these chapters pretty fast. I feel like it. I, I you know. I really feel like this game is not gonna be long if we're moving on with this stuff. Maybe some chapters from the other routes probably will be long. This, I really like it. It felt right into the blaze of his hands. It was shaped like a tripping form. Un unbalanced. There was a shipping stab out of the middle, just like a real unpledged and cooked hand. That's a fruit, right? Hmm. He hummed mildly as he peeked what was suddenly a fruit. He peeled what was suddenly fruit. Oh, this song is the same one he was humming when I lost consciousness. His hands moved smoothly and confessed and comfortably as he peeked the fruit as though he were removing the fracture from the unblessed. Could I couldn't help but be raised by the s sign as sign he had very skillful hands. Before I was ever aware of it, there were ever a Another plant set out. Did he bring it from Alex's house or had he used a spell while I was. <laughs> he cut it up and s set it on the plant, peeling one slice with a small silver fork. Here. <clears throat> You know, maybe he didn't just walk, he could use magic. Thanks. I mumbled my resolutions as I took the fork and handed it out to me. This is a fruit, right? Really? <laughs> Why are you so nice to me? I'm not very hungry. This is a fruit, right? Um, can I ask you something? This is a fruit, right? You'd be like, You don't know what fruit is? Let's say I don't have my memories, right? He's like, a, <laughs> He's like, like, You do not know what fruit is? What? And my question, Joker eyes were in, but weird in me. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was an orange? She said it was yellow. A banana? Maybe a banana. And then she'd be like, <laughs> like maybe we just try to cut a piece of banana, and he was like, like he was like, here you go. And then all of a sudden, like she's like, this is a fruit, right? He's like, what? Like you don't know what fruit is? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry if I offer, I'm, I'm sorry if I offer did you. And not that I don't trust you, I just don't recall anything about this fruit. So, as I recall, he is playing Joker 9 and understand. Uh, so that why? <laughs> There's no need to apologize. I respect your attentions to take everything and despair of your memories loss. 
I just thought you were freaking stupid. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Did he just compliment me? As I sat there blankly, Joker's smile fairly and spoke. This is a blend. Wait, what? A blend per se. It was very juicy and sweet. I have that fight, you give her a random banana. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. It's not very unusual in Wonderland, but. Joker smiled lightly and unailed me to try the fruit. I kind of like it. And more like well, too, so go ahead and try it. For some reason, his insistence had me believe his words to be true. I will, thanks. Smile none of that now. I took a bite out of the sm smooth white fruit on the fork. This tastes amazing. Does it? I knew you would like it. Yay, we ate a fruit. Yay. Wonderful choice. Good job. Yay. I don't know. <clears throat> the blend per sauce was c cool, juicy, incredible arrival. It was not only sweet, but it had a slightly tasteness to it that made it refreshing. I hadn't had a arrival until now, but irregularly I might have been hungry. I stabbed the fork into. Wait, what? I set the fork into the other signs of fruit. By the way, it's to my mouth. The, ju the juice from the fruit helped smooth my potential throat and I felt myself relax. I'm a choker? Hmm? I took a m moment to grab my thoughts before I whisper my confession. I'm a bit sleepy that I can't remember anything. I mean, a bit scared. I walked through one land with you today, Joker. But I can't remember anything. It's like I was sleeping. I was seeing everything for, th for the ever first time. I see. Joker silently, I mean, Joker listened to my hesitation, confession, and just nod. Let me ask you one thing, Alan. Iris. Yes, of course. Is it really necessary for you to record your memories? Huh? His words were so unexpected, I didn't know what to say. I, su I suppose it's not in proving that I record my mem my memories, but it would be nice to remember if I could because um, with the other choices, I have some improving memories and it's inconvenient not to remember anything. It's scared to have forgotten everything. <clears throat> it's scared not to remember anything. I was sure I could do so much if I could only remember. With only virgin memories, I didn't know what I could I could do. Can do. It figures not knowing anything, it's like why type type rope while blinking forward. Would it be better to just remember than to live in a perfect state of insanity? Make your less of the naturalities of those memories. Joker smiled and fairly as if testing me. But I give him a defensive nod. Of course not. Everything in life is a bad of rose. I relate living with memories and without it. No matter how painful they are, I still want my memories back. Those that I expected above. Which my life have been building. I would be a waste to let it all go. 
Joker let out a small regret sigh and mumbled as if to himself. <sighs> I don't see you. what's wrong with not turning back and just creating new memories. In your case, Aris, I don't know if you being brave or just playing recklessly. He smiled in amazement and regarded me with condition. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I feel like we're making some progress. I really feel like we're making some interesting 